What is up, everybody? Welcome back for another episode of Final Chats. Greg here coming at you with another first look post FHL video where we're diving into all the new features that were, were released at Funnel Hacking Live 2023. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add PayPal as an option on your order forms. So in the past, you could kind of do this. You could do it in classic with CF Pro Tools. I've never been able to get this to work inside 2.0 until they announced um, a better integration with PayPal at Funnel Hacking Live 2023. At the event, I got to talk to the Payments AI guy at his booth. They assure me it should work now. So I'm gonna try to set this up. In fact, I've already set this one up in another account. I'm positive it can work. You just have to do a couple things in a very specific order to make it work. So let me show you how to do it. The first thing you need to do is connect your PayPal business account to your Payments AI account. So inside of Payments AI, you just click on it from your dashboard. You wanna make sure that your PayPal account is connected. Look at this account that I have right now. Um, I only have Stripe connected and NPAI connected. Okay. So those will work with all my Dunning rules and everything in the background. But if I want to give them the option to pay by credit card or PayPal, I need to connect it here. So they've actually made it a lot easier to connect as well. The approval process used to be crazy, but all you do is go to gateways, go to PayPal, click on connect PayPal. And it literally just walks you through the steps. Um, for this to work though, you do need to have a PayPal business account. It will not work with like a regular one-off account. If you just go to paypal.com, you can easily create a business account. That is what you need. So I'm gonna log into mine right here. Hit next. And this happened to me, it sort of made me log in twice. That should be fine. Just go ahead, log in again. You're going to get to this point where it's basically going to tell you, hey, the approval process needs to go through. You might get a little survey, you can ignore that. But basically it says, thanks for signing up. Uh, you're successful. Um, go back to PAI. When you go back, you'll see that it's waiting for a connection. Now there is a little pop-up, I think maybe from the dashboard that says it can take, I forget where I saw it, but there was a little pop-up for me the last time I did this, it said it could take up to 48 hours. It took about four hours when I did it earlier. I actually did this from the back of the room at Funnel Hacking Lab because I got so excited and everything worked. Right. So obviously I don't want to wait four hours even to show you this. So I have it in another account where it's already, this part's already connected. Let me show you what that looks like. All right. So here I am over my other account where you can see PayPal is actually connected. So in this account, I just have Stripe and PayPal. These are my two payment, op payment gateways that I have currently connected inside of PAI. So once both of these say connected inside of your PA, whether it's you know PAI itself or Stripe or whatever gateways you want to use, as long as PayPal is now connected, what you can do is inside of your account is you can turn on PayPal. So you have to actually set it in a few places. First, you have to set it in your uh, workspace account setting. You need to go to settings, the very bottom left, and see where it has PayPal right here. By default, that's off. You need to highlight this so it's that sort of dark blue black color. And once that is highlighted, come down to the bottom and update your workspace. Once that's updated, you're good on that front. But then there is another layer to it. Any funnel that you wanna turn this on for, you have to also turn it on inside of the funnel settings for that funnel. So I'll show you in one of my funnels. So here is an example funnel. Fun fact, when I first set this up, I was so convinced it wouldn't work that I accidentally charged myself $297 instead of using a $1 product, but it worked and I ended up giving myself a little payment. So if you go into the settings of your funnel here, you'll see there's a PayPal option here as well. Turn that on, hit update funnel, and now 
you're good to go. You just have to have a checkout element on your order form, but make sure it's the most up-to-date version of that checkout element. You also have to have a product set up on the order form as well. Um, but they did recently release a new checkout element. Yours should look something like this. Oh, actually, look, I'm all I'm on legacy again already. So add a new checkout element. So go to order and find checkout. It looks like they're now giving you the option to also add the legacy version. I personally have not been able to get it to work on the legacy version of the checkout element. It just loaded into infinity, but on this new version it has been working for me. Um, in the new version, there's some different designs in here that you can choose from. Find one that you like. I'm going to use this one. So preview this in an incognito window, especially if you're still logged into your own PayPal account. Um, I did run into some issues where like I was logged into the PayPal account that I'm trying to give money to, right? So log in an incognito window. Opt in on step one of your order form if you have that set up. Looks like they fixed some issues with logging a phone number into that field, which is amazing. That was super annoying. And then look, I get the option. So I think on some of the designs, you get different options on here, but let's just click PayPal. This little thing will pop up, right? And then we log in to do our purchase. So I'll try to do this without charging myself, but I'll just show you. If we get to the next step, you know, you might get the passcode. I'm going to do login with password instead. All right. This is the PayPal ecosystem. This is super popular. So I'm not going to hit agree, agree and continue because as soon as I click this, I'm actually going to be charged. Uh, the price of my product, which in this case is a $47 product, which I don't want to be charged for right now. And then it just takes me to the next step in the funnel. All right. So because I logged out, you see decline for a second there, but we're good. Right. And if they want to do credit card, they can do this. So this is super powerful. Actually, the funnel that I got a two combo club award on was for a very international audience. Um, and the funnel could not have worked if we did not have a PayPal option. It was in classic. We use CF Pro Tools to do it. We ended up with 54% of the sales going through PayPal and hit two comma club in like seven days. Obviously it was to a massive audience for the person that I was working with at the time, but without this option, we never could have done it because there were so many international buyers that needed to buy and they don't have credit cards. They have PayPal. So this is a huge, huge game saver. It's nice. It looks clean. You can do the one click purchases on the upsell steps after this. Super, super easy to set up. You just have to be a little patient while they approve it, but then you are good to go. So remember guys, connect it to PAI. Um, turn on PayPal in your account settings. Turn on PayPal in your funnel settings. Upgrade to the newest version of the checkout element on the order form and you will be good to go. So I hope this was helpful. If it was, please do consider smashing the subscribe button, clicking all the links in the description. I'm on a journey here to grow this channel as much as I can. Turn on the notification bell it would absolutely mean the world to me. It only takes you two seconds to make those clicks. Do that for me and I will be your best friend. But with that, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I will see you in the next video. Bye everybody.